all right hello everyone welcome back to another video on the channel so in today's video basically i'm going to be doing kind of a commentary video uh not used to this type of content so this is going to be kind of a newcomer for me but it is what it is whatever so basically i had a whole bunch of clips put together because i've been off doing a whole bunch of different stuff so we're basically just going to be kind of going over those clips um this first clip here that i have is pretty much me going through the old um, OXCR course, um, and it was it rained a ton at Hidden Spring Ranch. Like it rained a lot. You can you can see all the wet spots there. Where the trail was super slick. It was it, it was actually kind of insane. Like if I would have known any better, probably would have put like less PSI in my tires or something. Because I mean, man, I was literally just sliding all over the place. It was actually kind of insane. Yeah, I was trying my best to go like super slow around in like these areas because like it was it, it, it was pretty bad. Like I'm still trying to get used to, you know, my bike and I'm trying to understand its power and stuff like that. And I just recently actually tuned it. So, you know, I, I'm trying to work my ways around understanding this thing, you know, because I'm still, you know, very much beginner level, you know, still trying to figure stuff out. And this bike is nuts and you'll see a little bit later in the video when we actually get to the uh, motocross track at Hills of Fire but now we go on the other side of the uh, creek here and we start going up um, basically this first hill which actually isn't that bad because of the way that the ruts are you can kind of just like ride the uh, kind of like the valley rut because of the way that the water kind of washed out you can kind of see here I try to go up the side and I just kind of slide down in the middle so I was just like I'm just going to go ahead and just basically just stay right there in that rut Ride it all the way up to the top, and then we're going to get turn left here. And then just kind of just stay kind of on the uh, rutted sides is basically what I'm going to be doing. Well, almost wiped out there. That was pretty close. I, I had multiple times where, like, I almost wiped out. Um, and it was, it, it was not great. Like, I'm very, very bad when it comes to riding on slick trails. I thought about going that way, but I was like, nah, I haven't been that way, so for all I know, it could be like a hill or something over there, because I just couldn't quite remember the trails, like, off the top of my head. Went around the left side, usually I would go around on the right, but I decided not to do that because of that one stump that was there, and I didn't think I could thread the needle while it was wet, so I was just like, you know, I forget it. Like I said, trying to ride through uh, the ruts, I don't want to stay in the middle because I just can't, like, with it being wet like that, I just wasn't able to keep the bike straight. Like, if it was dry, I have more than enough balance to be able to keep the bike there if I needed to. But with it being wet, like, I would either slide to the right or uh, slide to the left. And I was just like, I don't want to slide in a hole that I don't know. So I was just like, I'm not even going to bother with that. Come around onto this side of the property. Uh, definitely it's the easier trails. So this is like up towards the uh, the top, towards the uh, entrance area, like right behind it, basically. Stopped at that tree, and I was like, ah, I don't know if I want to go over to the uh, right or the left. I definitely did want to go to the right because I remembered, like, instantly. I was like, oh, there's a whole bunch of hills over there, and there's like a creek bed down at the bottom. So if I went down there, I'd have to ride that entire creek bed. And so I decided to just go this way, which is the way I typically go on the dirt bike. And, I mean, there's a bad creek bed, you know, like, well, okay, I say it's bad, it's bad for me, but it's a joke for anybody else, but, like, it's nowhere near as bad as, like, if I were to go over on the right side, which is definitely something that I did not want to do. Now, funny enough, I actually crashed, uh, that same, like, on this day I recorded this video, which was, like, two weeks ago or something like that, I actually crashed, like, a little bit later on, and the part where I crashed is just right up right up ahead of this creek like right towards the end of this creek there's gonna be a turn and i kind of jump the uh the first part of the uh mud hole just a little bit well i tried to do that again like last time and i just the, the throttle just got stuck and i just flew into the woods like it was actually kind of insane but my camera fell off when it happened and it wasn't recording so i didn't catch it which is annoying right here that's where i crashed i flew literally straight ahead right into that creek bed it was it was stupid 
So I stop right here just so I can kind of catch my balance a little bit. Go up. No big deal. I was really starting to kind of get the hang of the bike a little bit. You know, trying to, like I said, I wanted to understand it a lot more. That's why I've been riding it a lot. And I know that people, you know, are not used to me having a dirt bike and stuff like that because they subscribe and watch my channel for the mudding content, which I don't blame you for. And I'm not going to stop doing mudding content, you know, and just kind of taking a break from it so I can focus on different things. And this dirt bike is one of them. There's a nice jump. That was pretty good. Jumped that entire thing. Okay. Not bad. We're starting to kind of understand. Starting to kind of work our way around stuff. So that was pretty good. Shout out to John. He's gonna let me take his uh his new sportsman around. Sportsman 570 e, uh, EFI. We're just gonna take it around on the flat track a little bit. So this quad here, this actually belongs to my friend Big John, and I want to give a huge, you know, shout out to him, like I just said in the video. Um, this quad is really nice. Like he literally just bought it, and I was thinking about possibly trading the Renegade off or something, which is gonna happen. Like it's gonna get traded off, no doubt, you know, no question about it. Now, but it's just a matter of what I get. And nice, you know, one of the quads I was looking into was possibly, you know, getting a uh, Polaris. So yeah, I want to do uh you know kind of test drive it kind of you know see how it is look at this turning radius dude look at this Ooh, it's got a nice radius too. dude it's like half of what like the outlander it's is really sharp turning radius. it's actually really nuts now i know that the high lifter is not going to be that great power. you know but that's to be expected from it right low range. but i wasn't sure if i was going to get a high lifter or if i was just going to get like a regular quad i'm not 100 percent sure yet i'm still kind of working working on that okay that feels nice we'll keep it in high for now I said I'm being real easy on it because number one, it's not mine. Number two, this, you know, it's still in its breaking period. I think one of the other things that I was looking into was possibly getting like a YFZ 450 uh, Sport ATV because I want to keep at least one quad for mudding, which is going to be the 850. And then I wasn't sure like what I was going to trade the, the Renegade for. So I was thinking like, I don't know, maybe like a Sportsman or, you know, a YFZ or something like that. I don't know. But that's basically what I was, uh, what I was thinking about, and I'm gonna be working around that. What you get for riding a trail bike compared to a, you know, a mud bike like what I got. So that's pretty much those clips. That's pretty much all there is to be said about that. So let's go ahead and get back to uh, this clip right here, where I go up the last hill to get back to the parking lot, and as you can see, it's very, very slick. I get kind of cross-eyed here, and then I just slip, dump my bike because that makes sense. And this is where the pain starts. Like, getting up this hill for me was... It was awful, because I was trying to, like... I couldn't get on the other side, because I was way too short to shift the gears. So I was stuck in first gear. The bike just kept spinning constantly. Because, you know, if I was able to reach on the other side, I would have gotten it in, like, second gear, so it didn't slip as bad. But, yeah, this... This is not good for a person with asthma. Jeez. Th this hill... Th this, this took me a while. Like, I think I was stuck on this hill for, like, I don't know, about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, something like that. And I finally be able to, you know, once I got up to go three quarters of the way up, I was able to kind of ride the bike the rest of the way. Th that, that was really stupid. Like, that was, like, the worst thing I've done in so long. Like, and it's so dumb because, like, the hill's not even that steep, right? Like, any expert rider, that would be, like, a complete joke to them. But, like, to me, it was just, like, one of the hardest things I've done in a long time. So now we're gonna go ahead and cut the hills of fire. I like the jump. Yeah, the jumps I don't have too big of a problem with once I figure them out, but the turns I gotta figure that out. Yeah, so this um, right here is basically kind of like it's a huge new motocross track that was made down in McDermott, Ohio. Uh, I was actually down visiting my uncle uh, because you know I, I there, there's a lot of stuff going on there, but and everything's fine. We had a really good visit. I had a wonderful time. Uh, got to see, you know, uh, one of my cousins, I, I keep thinking that he's my nephew, but he's actually my cousin, uh, younger cousin. He's like four years old, and yet he can ride a dirt bike better than I can. <laughs> Anyways, uh, back to the whole Hills of Fire. Yeah, I was doing my best here. 
I, I was doing my best to stay out of everybody's way. Like, that's what I was trying to do, like, most of the time. You know, and I was also trying to gauge jumps as well. Like, there were some jumps where, like, I actually didn't have it, like... I, I didn't have it dialed, but I wasn't too far off. Now, I'm also missing... I also forgot to mention this. I'm also missing the first clip of this because my camera fell down. Yeah, I was like... Right at the beginning, I fell like four times. So you won't see any falling in this, which is kind of unfortunate. Because I really wanted to keep those clips. But... Oh, well. That turn wasn't too bad. That was pretty good. But look at these ruts, dude. Look at these. Like, I, I struggled so hard in these ruts. Uh, not to the neutral there. Let's see, we're going to stay to the far right because I think there was a guy who was coming up. He, he's not he's not too far behind me. I think he's just now getting into the whoops. I was constantly looking back because, like I said, I didn't want to be in these guys' way. And these guys were very respectful, too. Like, these were some really great riders. I, I don't know any of these guys that were down there. They didn't know who I was. You know, but they clearly saw that I was, you know... I was struggling. I, I was struggling a lot. You know, see, there he is. He's, he's coming around. He'll catch up. Don't worry. <laughs> he'll catch up and he'll get right around me. So I decided to go wide. Because, like I said, I was just kind of anticipating when he's going to, you know, be coming around. Because I was definitely, like, the, the newbie person there. I'm just going to pull off. Fuck it. Let them fucking go around. Yeah, that's kind of what, you know, I was sitting there for it. Just wait. Let him go. Screw it. Fuck it. Drain it. I'm just going to call it. There ain't too much truth, so. And at that point, it started raining, too. I can't believe I lost some of those clips, though. Like, it was actually kind of, like, really annoying. I had one good clip in here somewhere. I can't remember where it is, but I'm going to see if I can find it here real quick. All right, so I found the clip. It's right here. Um, somehow I missed this in the editing process. I don't know how, but the way I'm doing this whole recording thing really sucks. But I actually hit a jump pretty good, and I believe it was this jump, like, right, yeah, right around this corner. So I go around this bend right here, and then I come around right over here, and I hit this tabletop. And I think I gave it just a little bit too much throttle because I land a little bit wheel heavy. But when I hit it the first time, I cleared it perfectly. And I, it sucks that I missed that clip, but yeah, it's, it's this tabletop right here. So I go over, give it throttle down, throttled it right at the end. Okay, that one was not as good. All right, though. Yeah, you're good, man. Yeah, you're all right. It's just the fact that you kind of landed on your rear tire a little bit too much, but that's pretty much, you know, <laughs> we all make that mistake. There's also another clip, like, right after this, uh, coming around the uh, upper bend, where there was this guy, and, like... <laughs> This is kind of nuts. Like, this just does nothing but, like, encourage me to, like, stay in motocross and, like, learn a lot more about the sport. You know, because the thing is, is that you got to start somewhere, right? You know, like, you don't want to just be discouraged by everything or else you're not going to learn anything new. So, going wide, staying wide. Trying to really, like, gauge these ruts. Because, like, on camera, the ruts don't look that bad. You know, but they're really hard to gauge when you're actually there. See, I'm going way too slow for these, for the most part. Like, I need to have a little bit more confidence and faith in the bike. Because the bike itself is more capable than what I'm making it seem. Like, it could do pretty much anything with the right rider on it. It's really just the fact that I don't know how to ride it very well. So, a Kawasaki guy, there he goes. He's going to come over on the uh, far left, and he's going to stay very far inner. So, at this point, I go ahead and switch inner. And there's going to be a Yamaha who's going to come up over on the left side here. And he's going to just smack this hill. Well, right after I sit here dilly-dallying around. Oh, no, maybe not. I think it was on the, no, it was on the other lap. Whoops, so I messed it up. He was on the other lap. So on this one, I go ahead and just rail it. Still didn't clear it. Pretty good. And it wasn't bad. Yeah, you're right, man. It wasn't bad, but still didn't clear it. But that guy in the Yamaha, though, I mean, he literally cleared that entire thing. Like, I don't know how he did that, but that was just absolutely insane. Yeah, and there's your neutral pop right there. But that's pretty much going to be the end of the video, guys. I know it's kind of all over the place, but 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if not, or, you know, <laughs> if not, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe, and, you know, leave a comment down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads from me, and all that garbage and whatever other YouTubers say, I guess, bleh, so, I will see you guys in the next video.